Second Nephi chapter 6. Jacob recounts Jewish history, the Babylonian captivity and return, the ministry and crucifixion of the Holy One of Israel, the help received from the Gentiles, and the Jews' latter-day restoration when they believe in the Messiah, about 559 to 545 B.C. And the words of Jacob, the brother of Nephi, which he spake unto the people of Nephi. Behold, my beloved brethren, I, Jacob, having been called of God and ordained after the manner of his holy order, and having been consecrated by my brother Nephi, unto whom ye look as a king or a protector, and on whom ye depend for safety, behold, ye know that I have spoken unto you exceedingly many things. Nevertheless, I speak unto you again, for I am desirous for the welfare of your souls. Yea, mine anxiety is great for you, and ye yourselves know that it ever has been. For I have exhorted you with all diligence, and I have taught you the words of my Father, and I have spoken unto you concerning all things which are written from the creation of the world. And now, behold, I would speak unto you concerning things which are, and which are to come. Wherefore, I will read you the words of Isaiah, and they are the words which my brother has desired that I should speak unto you. And I speak unto you for your sakes, that ye may learn and glorify the name of your God. And now, the words which I shall read are they which Isaiah spake concerning all the house of Israel. Wherefore, they may be likened unto you, for ye are of the house of Israel. And there are many things which have been spoken by Isaiah, which may be likened unto you, because ye are of the house of Israel. And now, these are the words. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles, and set up my standard to the people. And they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their faces towards the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. And now I, Jacob, would speak somewhat concerning these words. For behold, the Lord has shown me that those who were at Jerusalem from whence we came have been slain and carried away captive. Nevertheless, the Lord has shown unto me that they should return again, and he also has shown unto me that the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, should manifest himself unto them in the flesh, and after he should manifest himself they shall, should scourge him and crucify him, according to the words of the angel who spake it unto me. And after they have hardened their hearts and stiffened their necks against the Holy One of Israel, behold, the judgments of the Holy One of Israel shall come upon them, and the day cometh that they shall be smitten and afflicted. Wherefore, after they are driven to and fro, for thus saith the angel, many shall be afflicted in the flesh, and shall not be suffered to perish, because of the prayers of the faithful, they shall be scattered and smitten and hated. Nevertheless, the Lord will be merciful unto them, that when they shall come to the knowledge of their Redeemer, they shall be gathered together again to the lands of their inheritance. And blessed are the Gentiles, they of whom the prophet has written, for behold, if it so be that they shall repent and fight not against Zion, and do not unite themselves to that great and abominable church, they shall be saved, 
For the Lord God will fulfill his covenants which he has made unto his children. And for this cause the prophet has written these things. Wherefore, they that fight against Zion and the covenant people of the Lord shall lick up the dust of their feet, and the people of the Lord shall not be ashamed. For the people of the Lord are they who wait for him, for they still wait for the coming of the Messiah. And behold, according to the words of the prophet, the Messiah will set himself again the second time to recover them. Wherefore he will manifest himself unto them in power and great glory, unto the destruction of their enemies, when the, that day cometh when they shall believe in him. And none will he destroy that believe in him. And they that believe not in him shall be destroyed, both by fire, and by tempest, and by earthquakes, and by bloodsheds, and by pestilence, and by famine. And they shall know that the Lord is God, the Holy One of Israel. For shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For the mighty God shall deliver his covenant people. For thus saith the Lord, I will contend with them that contendeth with thee. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I the Lord am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob.